So I've noticed that there's a lot of content on YouTube and it can get pretty overwhelming. I mean, post it every single day, how to overcome loss, the new way how to overcome loss, how to overcome porn and masturbation, how to overcome that, how to overcome that, how to overcome this. It can get very overwhelming. And sometimes for a lot of people who are strong with porn and masturbation, it can feel almost like information overload where it's like, there's so much information. Who should I trust? What should I do? I'm going to cover that all within this video. You see, I've been helping men quit porn and masturbation for two and a half years. I've been free for oh, over three years years at this point, almost four years in Jesus name, all glory to God. And I've seen a lot of people do all types of different things to quit porn and master. I mean, I mean, I mean, ridiculous things to quit porn and masturbation. I've seen people try to do handcuffs, you know, get rid of their phones, cold showers, everything, every single thing. I've, I've seen it. Trust me. I, I've seen every single way to quit porn and masturbation. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the most effective way to quit porn and masturbation. This is the only video you need to watch in order to quit porn and masturbation. So stick all the way into the very end and you'll find out how to exactly do it. Now, for me, myself, I struggled with porn and masturbation for years. And finally, by the grace of God, like I mentioned, almost four years ago, I went ahead and made a decision to quit porn and masturbation for the rest of my life. And this was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Now, one of my greatest mistakes though, on this journey to go ahead and overcome porn and masturbation, because I believe that it's also very important to look at the mistakes and also look at what worked as well, because a lot of people, honestly, the mistakes are more valuable to learn than the things that actually work. So mistake that I made was always looking for the one-stop solution and the perfect thing, the magic pill. A lot of people think, oh man, you know, he quit porn and masturbation. What's the secret? You know, what is the magic pill? What is the one thing I can do to go ahead and quit porn and masturbation? I hate to break it to you, but there's no magic pill. You can watch all these videos, right? I used to watch hundreds of videos on no fap, how to quit porn and masturbation, how to overcome lost videos, all these different things, looking for a magic pill, looking for a one strategy, looking for the easiest way to quit porn and masturbation. But all through that time, if I would have just dedicated all that time to going through the journey the hard way, how it's supposed to be done and going through the recovery, I would have quit long ago. But you see, for so many years, I would try to watch all these videos, consume all this endless amounts of content and how to overcome loss and nothing would ever change for me. In fact, I would even, I would just get more guilt and more shame because I'm like, oh, I'm watching all these videos and nothing is working. Let me just try to find more videos. Let me try to get more information. Let me try to get more knowledge. Let me try to get all these things. But at the end of the day, it, it's going to come to you. It, it's going to have to be your decision to actually overcome porn and masturbation. And yes, you can make things easier for you, like joining a community, joining a Bible study, getting plugged into your church, obviously, you know, doing all these things, but eventually it's going to have to come by you. It's going to have to take action from you to do in order to overcome this addiction. And this is not, you know, what do you want to call it? Like the, the coolest advice, you know, the, the, the flashy advice about how to overcome porn and masturbation, but you can watch all these videos and the videos are all the exact same. Have you ever noticed that all the videos about how to overcome lust are pretty much the same, or they have no actionable steps whatsoever. They just say scriptures or they're just like motivating and stuff like that. But how is that actually going to help you, right? There's a quote that says, you know, you can give the man a fish or you can teach the man how to fish so that he can get fish for the rest of his life. I want to teach you how to be a fisherman, right? I want to teach you how to overcome porn and masturbation so that you can go the rest of your life without it. I don't just want to motivate you so that you can go a couple days free, but then ultimately go back into it. So the number one thing that you need to instill this into your mindset is that you need to get rid of this mindset that there's a easy solution to quit porn and masturbation because there isn't. You can try to find, you can spend all these years looking on the internet, but guys, there's no easy solution. This is why Jesus said in the Bible, the narrow road, right? Few will find it. Very few people are on righteous standing with God. And the same thing with important masturbation, few will find it. The reason being is because it's difficult. It's hard. It's not easy to overcome point of masturbation, but what is easy that comes that is worthwhile to do? Every single thing that is worthwhile to do is difficult, which is why it's so much more rewarding when you get the reward and you get the satisfaction and achievement that you actually complete completed this and not just giving up over and over again. Because a lot of people, they look to quit porn and masturbation, but they always give up over and over and over and over again. But the book of Galatians, it says this, do not give up on doing good for in due season, you will reap a harvest. If you, if you don't give up, it doesn't say, okay, you know, when you give up, you will reap a harvest. Or may, maybe if you give up, you, you, you will not receive a harvest, right? No, if you don't give up, you will
will receive a harvest. Too many people give up on this journey. Now, these are the ways to make this as simplest as possible for you to quit porn and masturbation. But at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you to actually fight in this journey and, and persevere and conquer this. There's, there's just no easy way out. There's no shortcut. And I, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but there's, there's no shortcut. It's either you want it or you don't. But how can you make this as simple as possible for you? Number one, you need to have a relationship with God. If you don't have a relationship with God, if you're not going into the word every single day and praying, you're already disadvantaged and you're giving Satan an open door to come into your life and steal, kill, and destroy like Jesus says. If you're not praying right, you need to be praying right. 30 minutes, one hour a day. Prayer is not just speaking as well. It's also listening to what the Holy Spirit has to say to you on that day. Praying, going deeper into the things of God, letting God speak to you through his word and getting a relationship with him. Because the more that you're in the presence of God, the more that God's going to clean your heart and remove all the iniquity, remove all the wickedness, and you will get a heart like God. That's why in the Bible it says, book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 4, it says, Delight your ways in the Lord and he will give you the desires of of your heart because when you delight your ways in the Lord, he cleans everything out from your heart. You become reborn again. You're now a new creation. You're now a new a, a new person. And now your heart is now formed with God. Obviously there's still the flesh. There's always gonna be the flesh, fortunately. But God will go ahead and give you new desires. God will go ahead and remove the wickedness. God will go ahead and remove the iniquity within your heart, right? The Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. The, the world tells you to follow your heart and do what makes you happy, do what, do what you feel like is right. But the Bible says to not follow your heart, but follow what God says in his word. So delight your ways in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And what does this mean for you? Ask God right now, what do you, God, what do you want me to do? There's so much more to God than you even can imagine. You know, when I was growing up, people would always tell me, oh yeah, you know, I, I love God and you know, God is, is good and he does this and that, but I never experienced the presence of God. I never experienced this, the peace that surpasses all understanding that comes with having a relationship with God. And sadly, in this day and age, a lot of people, they don't have a relationship with God. They have religion, tradition, man-made, and that's why, you know, people don't actually receive true freedom. That's why people are stuck in bondage for the rest of their life because they actually don't have a relationship. They have religion. But once you get relationship with God, in a relationship, you you need to talk to God more than you talk to people. Yes, that's how, that's how far this goes. But when his Holy Spirit hits you, you're not going to be the same person again. So I really just urge you to go deeper into the things of God. Like I, I mentioned this earlier, like someone asked me, Oh, is it possible to quit porn and masturbation without God? I said, why would you want to do this journey without God? I want God by my side because the book of Romans, it says, if God before you, then who can be against you? So get a relationship with God and go deeper into the things of God. Yes, there's more to God than just reading the verse of the day. There's more to God than just going to church every single Sunday. Get a relationship with him. Go deeper into the presence that is him. And you could do that. We, we all have time to do that. Stop saying that you're busy. Because you make time for what matters most to you. So number one, get a relationship with God and get more in his presence. Number two, get a community by your side. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes that two are better than one. And that community can uplift you, right? Because if one falls, another brother can pick the other brother up. You can edify each other. Iron sharpens iron like the book of Proverbs, it says. Get in community with solid people who are trying to quit porn and masturbation. Also get in community and mentorship as well with other people who are looking or who have already overcome porn and masturbation as well because people who have already overcome porn and masturbation can give you mentorship, can give you guidance, can tell you, hey, avoid this, do that, do this, do that, avoid that type of thing. And they, that can really, really help you on your journey to quit porn and masturbation. So community is absolutely vital. There's a quote that says that the opposite of addiction is connection. It's community. So the more that you get connected, the more that you get community, the more that you involve and, and you, you get around other brothers who are struggling with this issue, the more it's going to help. You're going to get accountability as well. That's going to be one of the next things I'm going to talk about, accountability, you know, with other people, because a lot of people, they've been relying just, you know, accountability by themselves. They've never told anybody about this addiction. I'd recommend telling other people getting community and getting accountability on this journey because when you get accountability you can actually have other people to rely on and other people to also feel like hey i'm not alone on this journey i can actually you know i can overcome this because not only because of christ because of my brothers who are also on this journey with me now it's very important to get the right accountability the right community a lot of people they say they have community they say they have accountability but their community is relapsing every single day and no one is really taking even this seriously you know you're the average of the five people you hang out the most so if you're hanging out with people who 
are not serious about quitting and they've never quit before, you're going to be the next one to come. So just keep that in mind as well, that it can go both ways. Community can be amazing. Community can also be a big downfall for a lot of people if they have the wrong community and accountability. And the last thing I'll say as well is to get systems and get strategies to overcome certain things within your porn free journey. You see a lot of people, they, they want to quit porn and masturbation. They want to overcome temptation, but they have no strategy or no system in place to overcome temptation. You know, a lot of people say that they want to get closer to God, but they have no system, no strategy and no game plan to their how they're actually going to get closer to God. You see, you know, a goal that you just say without an action plan, it, it's just a dream. But when you have actionable steps in order to get to that goal, it becomes reality. So if you have no actionable steps for the goals that you speak, it, they're just dreams and they're just make believe things that will fingers crossed, hopefully one day happen, but they're never going to happen unless you take the action to make them happen. So make these things reality, have systems in place. What are you going to do? When to, if I ask you right now, what are you going to do the next time temptation comes? Because it will come. This is, uh, this is a journey. There's no way around it. What are you going to do the next time temptation comes in your life? Uh, I don't know. Failed. You, you, you went ahead and went back to, to, to porn and masturbation. If I ask you right now, do you have community accountability? You're like, uh, I'm not sure. You know, failed. You need to have systems in place and know exactly what you're doing to make this as easy as possible. The easiest way to do this is to get mentorship from others who have already overcome porn and masturbation. Because I mentioned earlier in this video, people who have already overcome porn and masturbation, they can teach you what to do and what not to do on this journey. Now, this is why I have the TRF program. This is a program that I run that has helped thousands of men overcome porn and masturbation. If you want to know more about this, right, we provide community accountability, strategies, game plans, daily calls. We, uh, we run this program with pastors and leaders from all around the country and all around the world. Now we're worldwide. We have a member from every single continent at this point. Praise the Lord. So if you want more information on that, click the first link in the description for more information on that. But you need to get mentorship and get solid game plans. Have, have strategies in place and have a solid routine down so that you can overcome porn and masturbation once and for all. Because if you just are expecting just to have discipline and just you know, gr grind this out and, you know, tooth and nail and just do that, you know, it, it's going to be a lot harder for you than if you just had game plans and you had things to do when temptation arises. You had things to do when you are most prone to go back to porn and masturbation. So come up with a game plan for every single thing, have strategies in place, and don't just do this just to just do this because it's not going to work if you just, you know, don't treat the, if you don't treat this seriously don't expect to quit porn and masturbation is what i'm trying to say and yeah if you want to watch more videos on how to overcome porn and masturbation click on one of these videos right here if you want to learn more about how to handle temptation if you want to learn more about how to really go deeper because we only we really only went over like a lot of basic stuff but if you want to go learn how to go deeper into learning about how to overcome porn and masturbation click on one of these videos right here and i'll see you in the